Hey guys, in this video, we are going to take a look at the AOSPN 9.0, which is the Android open source parent of Android 9.0 for a Redmi Note 5 Pro or the Redmi Note 5, which is codenamed as Wired. So, without wasting more time, let's start. Starting with the home screen, we get this quick step launcher. You can see all the apps from AOSP, and you can see we don't have this Google Now, uh, like the Google Now swipe the shortcut then we have this launcher settings like notification dots allow home screen notification and change icon shape going into the settings we get the android pui you can see it's android p so it's android pui then into the oops into the display we get night light and no ambient display yes we also get the ambient display no always on display we can set the display size and we can set it in five options then we also have tap to wake and device theme you can set it automatic light or dark on your person. moving into the system into the gestures here we get the swipe up on home button and you can disable it and enable it to enable the pixel gesture excluding this we do not get any customization features you can see into the battery you get this battery manager so it is pure aosp based from like aospa also you can see into the about phone uh going into android 9 you can see get yeah, this Android 9 you can see and PA1 there so it's maybe their first release options and you can see it has a dirt plus kernel and the Selenix status is still permissive because this ROM supports Vaulty and we have this HD icon to get it like the Vaulty symbol and you can see I can also make a call uh, here as you can see so yeah we already work and we get the normal google camera in this build and also as you can see i have installed this uh, g cam and it works well so yeah g cam also works on this build now let's check the pubg performance and i will just play like some of the gameplay so let's check the pubg performance also the time in opening app is good it's not that delayed uh, like on the redmi 5 plus because it has a old processor and so no need of comparing it but yeah so okay it's a bit delayed but yeah it's good so guys i am playing on hd graphics and also high uh, high mode or whatever you call okay so yeah the performance is always best on this device no matter what rom you are in so it doesn't matter with the rom well, it's good okay it's actually difficult to play while shooting so i don't know why but it's actually difficult okay someone killed um, someone from the side killed so let's check okay 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 coming back the pubg 4 points is really well uh, i have no issues playing even in high graphics and it doesn't support more than that so i could have checked but i'm not using any gfx tool as you can see i don't have any apps like gfx tool or some other mods which i have played pubg with but yeah it plays really well on this uh, device and I obviously this rom so yeah i will like give guys you a go for this ROM, if you love really like lineage OS but stock Android, but if you want updates regularly, uh, this ROM is good and also it's a famous ROM, Paranoid Android, it's from way back ages. I have used the KitKat and Lollipop version on my Galaxy S Plus, which is a really old device, so you can guess this ROM is really old and also the most loved ROMs, so yeah, like you can check it out or you can also simply uh, guess this review. Mm, okay, so now let's check the Android score. So I will be like getting through the Android score now. So let's check it. So guys, out of all of the devices I have used, like while the Android to like GPU things are being checked, all of this is like really blurry, shaky, and really laggy. I don't know why. But while playing games, it's really okay. So I don't know why it is like that, or it is with their high intensity they are checking and maybe because of that the score is really good so yeah you guys can guess this i don't know if anyone knows you can like let me know in the comment section and now let's wait for the uh, gpu score and our overall score too let's wait for the android score so guys here's the android benchmark score and you can see it scores uh, 1,07,304 as a total 
I'd say defeated 25% of users. Now the GPU score is, uh, sorry, the CPU score is 54, 538. GPU score 14, 286. And the CPU, uh, the UX is 32, 333. And the memory is 6147. So actually, I don't know, you can compare the scores and you can rate the ROM. And also the performance and all I have shown you. So like there is no uh, actual difference in this and the actual performance we are getting. So you can take a look at either both ways. And guys, that's it for the full ROM review, like all the performance, gaming, added a benchmark and everything for this uh, parallel Android, which is a really famous ROM for like almost most of the devices have Research Pi. So, and yes, Wired is one of the lucky devices to get it. So yeah, thanks to the developer. And yeah, that's it uh, for this uh, video. If you guys have liked this video, press the like button. If not, then the dislike button also subscribe for more videos and if you want more videos then you can also press the bell icon in case you need notifications and quickly want to go for first view and first like just kidding i don't get that much in views and likes so bye bye guys i will see you guys next video till then bye bye